This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. Shouldn't come as a surprise to people, being that it's ritual season, and by that I mean this period in October from the 13th to the 31st, really the whole month, when a lot of children go missing and are abducted. Obviously, I talked about the 70 missing foster children in Kansas. It doesn't mean they were all abducted this month. Some went missing earlier, and it doesn't even mean that they were all abducted. But get a load of what Facebook is encouraging. Some Facebook game called the 48-Hour Challenge, which encourages kids to disappear. That's convenient for this month. I mean, are you kidding me? Should this be allowed? So Facebook, which is deciding what is fake news and what isn't, which is censoring people left and right. You know how many messages I get from people who say, hey, I posted your video on Facebook. My account got suspended. Or they say, I posted stuff on Facebook about this specific topic, and I got my account suspended. But no, Facebook has a game encouraging children to go missing. Kids as young as 14 are going missing for days at a time as part of a worrying new Facebook game called the 48-Hour Challenge. The shocking challenge invites children to hide from their parents and loved ones for as long as possible. Oh, this is great. This is what Facebook is encouraging these days, folks. Hey, kids, go hide from your parents as long as possible. Go missing. I mean, you've got to be kidding me. Again, the shocking challenge invites children to hide from their parents and loved ones for as long as possible with, with participants awarded a higher score every time they are mentioned on social media. I mean, what kind of a sick, twisted game is this? They think this is going to help. Like, what is their angle around? Oh, this is going to help us, uh, you know, find missing kids because people are going to post about them on social media. How about their parents call the police when the kids go missing and the police do their job or somebody does their job? But of course they won't because most of them are Masons. It says this means kids are given points if their frantic parents take to Facebook or Twitter to sound the alarm. The latest challenge is very similar to the Game of 72, which shocked the nation in 2015 by telling kids to disappear for 28, excuse me, 24, 48, or even 72 hours. Wow. It says one mom from Country Dairy told Belfast Live that her child left the local area and was found some 55 hours later in a town very far away from where she was. Said I was terrified they were dead or would be raped, trafficked, or killed, says the mom. And this is stuff that Facebook and Twitter is encouraging. They're blocking anything talking about what's going on, questioning any of these events in the news. But this they're encouraging. What a surprise, Zuckerberg. It says, but these kids just think it's funny. There was not even a moment of remorse when my child was taken into police custody. And when the police brought my child home, I could see posts of selfies from the police car. This is the world we live in now, folks. We have Facebook encouraging children to go missing, to disappear, especially during this specific month where kidnappings, other than in April or May, that period where the Beltane is, where kidnappings are at its highest, and nobody says boo. I mean, should people be suing Facebook? Well, Facebook will say, well, we're not responsible for the game. We're too busy monitoring other people who are questioning the government or questioning the agenda behind some of these fake news stories that are being reported on CNN and all these other outlets. It's absolutely unbelievable. You know, you go into Google, and if you put missing kids in or anything like that every day and just click the news tab, You'll see these stories from around, you know, whatever country. If you're in the U.S., obviously the stories are going to be, you know, U.S. related. But around the world, you try doing this, you'll see stuff like this. Mom, two missing kids saw it in Tampa area. Detectives looking for two children in South Carolina. 19-year-old arrested after 6-year-old found in a dumpster. Which is just That story is just horrifying. 40, you know, look at the stuff you go through here. Two investigators searching for Chicago's missing kids. You get the stuff in Kansas. You get a single mom desperate to find her missing 15-year-old daughter in Memphis. All right, more stuff about the 70 missing kids from Kansas. All right, here's more missing kids in Washington. 
And you'd think that this would be something that people would really care about. And you'd say, wow, you know, and this might make people question what the motives are behind the mainstream media, which is simply there to brainwash you. And then you go on, you know, you go on CNN where people are going for news. And these are the types of stories. Billy Joel expecting child. Pop star reveals battle with addiction. Crap about Trump. Crap about, you know, all this stuff they're pushing, which is clearly part of an agenda. Hashtag me too. About women who were sexually abused. Everybody's just coming forward now. All these famous people. All at the same time. You don't think this is an agenda? This is what they're talking about in the mainstream. The girl from Blossom. Oof. Goodness grief. This girl talking about, oh, come on, come forward, women. This is, this is what they want you to focus your attention on. This crap. This useless, pointless crap. NFL star auditions to be the next Darth Vader. This is CNN. This is where people are going for their news. Or NBC. Their main article, talking about Michael Phelps' battle with depression. I mean, who gives a crap? Meanwhile, if you do search these things for yourself, you'll see how many missing kids are. If the mainstream media and these people actually cared about any of these missing kids, and I'm not blaming all these missing kids on satanic abductions, because that's not fair to do, but obviously we know a lot of these children are abducted for satanic rituals. And yes, some kids do go missing, some kids are runaways, But if these people really cared about these children, about these parents, shouldn't these be the main stories? So then people can go, okay, I live in that area. Now I know what this child looks like. Let's all keep an eye out for these missing kids. And then we could get these kids back to where they belong. Or you could protect them. Or we can find out what's going on and why they're missing. No, instead, what they want you to focus on is hashtag me too. They want you to focus on Donald Trump and the divide and conquer. They want you to focus on all of this nonsense, this supposed activism, right? And all these idiots think that they're doing something. Oh, I'm being an activist because I'm going to go walk. To ne- I'm going to go for a, a walk next weekend with all these people. It's going to be a march for women speaking up against sexual harassment. I mean, huh? What? Self-absorbed dumbed down society that can't even see that they're controlling and manipulating their emotions. They're making them play right into their hand, which is all of this leads to a new world order, which is already in place, right? But it's going to lead to them submitting and being submissive to all the agendas that they want. We already see it with the trans agenda. I mean, the dumbest stuff you could possibly imagine that people are falling for it's like it's a guy dressed up as a woman and we're supposed to sit here and be like, oh, poor person. It's like, get some help. That's all. Amazing, right? Meanwhile, these kids just continue to go missing and Facebook is going, hey, kids, go hide from your parents for 48 hours. And every time somebody tweets about you, we'll give you a little gold star and you can win this little pointless game encouraging kids to go missing, especially during a time period, folks, where the highest level of abductions occur. October, kids go missing every day. It's unbelievable. This is the world that we're all dealing with, living in. This is why I'm I'm ready to pull my hair out of my head. Because I go to the, see what, you know, these news sites are talking about, hoping that some, somebody's gonna talk about some of this stuff, the missing foster kids. Some of these parents whose kids are just missing. This mom is crying about her missing child in Memphis, her 15 year old daughter, worries she's abducted or raped by some guy. And again, I'm not saying it means it's a Satanist or it's a satanic thing going on. But these are the things that people should be Focusing on this is how you know you could use the mainstream media and stuff for good, raising awareness to help people out who have missing kids or have real problems going on, you know, that people could help them with. Instead, the mainstream media is letting you know that the girl from Blossom wants you to use this hashtag and let people know that you were uh, sexually harassed at one point in time. Just ridiculous stuff, folks. Just ridiculous. 
These stories will continue to get swept under the rug because they don't care about anyone's kids. And even if these aren't related to the occult, these kidnappings or these missing kids, you know, missing kids in the Ozarks. I mean, there's all these stories out there if you go through it and just keep looking, looking. Mexico City, no, no, no. First they're missing, now they're not missing because they're probably gone, you know? They're probably nowhere to be found. But you just go through all this stuff and you go, wow, how come I don't hear about this anywhere? How come on Fox News tonight or MSNBC they're going to be talking about Democrats and Republicans? Stuff that nobody should care about because it's not real. But they want to keep you trapped in this box with this illusion of freedom. And Facebook wants your kids to go missing on purpose, to go hide from you. But you tweet something or ask a question about some event like Vegas or Sandy Hook or... 9-11 9-11 or McMartin, any of that stuff. Zionism, the Talmud. Hey, we're going to shut you down. We're going to take away your right to speak. But they'll encourage this kind of crap. It's really, it's heartbreaking to me. It really just, you know, I just, I don't understand how people don't look at this stuff and go after the mainstream media and say, stop talking about this. We could see that you're trying to manipulate us and control us, but people just don't get it. They're so naive and so prideful and self-absorbed that they think that they're making these decisions and liking this compared to liking that based on their own choices. They're being manipulated to thinking that they're making a choice when they're making the choice for you. If our government and the media cared, then this stuff would be getting talked about. These 70 kids who were runaways in Kansas would be found. These people would be looking for them. And maybe they wouldn't be found, but then people will go, all right, if we can't find them with the technology we have today, then what in the world is going on? Where could they possibly be? And then that could open up a rabbit hole where people will learn where these kids really go and how they're trafficked for their use of satanic ritual abuse. I thank you for listening to today's show. Keep all these kids in your prayers. Hopefully, you know, some of these stories out there get solved and the children get home safe. I thank all of you again. God bless you and your families.